Hello everyone, this is Lenny from Code with Lenny Len and in this fifth uh, Pong series tutorial I'm going to show you how we are going to change our screen, background color and as well as updating our screen but you won't see the effects of updating the screen right now you're just going to see the background color change and all that but I'll explain to you in detail what all this will do and as always you know we are checking we are going step by step and if we check our code we covered a bit of initialization we still have some work to do with initialization and we have things like colors I think I'm satisfied with colors we are still going to add things like the uh, game variables let me show you what I meant then well you remember I say that we start the game which we did colors we did screen we did but the game variables I'll talk in detail about that later but right now we are tackle event loop a bit of event loop and we have a basic idea of what events are and next we have the game logic so this is the place that we are going to tackle today and we shall say maybe that we have covered our game loop but we still have a ton of work to do for us to make a complete game but I will like to show you all these three basic parts then we can continue building on to our game so today I'm just going to show you how we're going to update our screen as well as um, do stuff like changing our background color so the funny thing about um, updating our screen is not going to be in the game logic I don't know whether it's part of the game logic or not because game logics are basically the if conditions and uh, stuff like that but I'll just put the game logic I'll put it in the game logic but uh, that should not worry us for now it will still work and you should remember it's in the while loop it's not um, in the for loop the for loop is just for the events and all everything like the events and the game logic are handled by the while loop so let's get started on the game logic though I don't think this is game logic but anyway I suppose it could still work as game logic so for us to change our screen background color if you have used um, image manipulation programs like maybe GIMP in Windows or uh, Microsoft Paint in Windows or any other thing like Adobe After Effects or something so you know that uh, there is something called bucket fill and bucket fill just fills the whole surface and in this case we're going to fill our screen so we're going to just say screen screen dot fill and then the color uh, initially in Pygame this is done by an RGB tuple let's say 6677 sorry what is 4188 that's done by a um, tuple of an RGB color so because we defined our colors up here we are just going to write them down there so we already defined the colors as RGB tuples so we're just going to say red and that's going to be represented by the brackets 255 0 0 and that should be done the problem with this is that it's not going to completely show our red because we are not updating our screen remember it has to start with the black screen then it reaches to this game logic then uh, takes in the red color that we took and will start uh, completely flipping them just as we said before so to prevent this from happening and getting a freezing maybe black and some few parts of red screen we need to update our screen so that the frames are being flipped over many many times and everything is up to date so if there's color red it will be color red if it's color blue it will be color blue this is done very quickly by the computer and you might even not notice that there's anything being flipped but for us to do that we're going to leave some few spaces so that we can make some drawings later for us to uh, update our screen we just need to say pi game dot display dot flip and as you remember I say this is just like a uh, flip book as we'll just flip the pages in your book to update maybe some pictures and make something like motion happen the same same way Pygame works but you might see other tutorials of other people in their code they use pygame.display.update I'm not against update in fact update 
uh, comes in handy when you want to update parts of the screen. Maybe you want to update a rect as itself or maybe have a spinning blade in the center of a screen and it's just a picture that's being quickly updated to create motion. You can use dot update. Flip just flips the whole screen, updates everything at once and it does this very fast. So you can do dot flip or dot update according to your specifications but dot flip should work for us for now and with that we finished up our screen dot fill and the by game dot display dot flip so let's check whether everything works we first save i'll press ctrl s then run by pressing ctrl uh, f5 and it starts soon and as you can see we have a bright fire engine red screen we previously had a black screen but right now it's bright and fire engine red I don't know whether it's fire engine red or just bright red. I'm not quite good with colors, so let's move on. We have seen red. And to ensure that all our colors are working, we can change the color here. We had red, we had blue. So control S and F5. Wait for it. And there we have our Pi game window is now completely blue and I love it. I specifically like uh, blue and gray, gray especially for games that are, uh, you know gray is a silent color, it's just a calm color, just like white but I love gray maybe it does not distract the user from playing a game and focusing much on the background color or something, but I'll show you all this, let's check the other colors and ensure that they are also up to date, we had blue, we had red, we had black so save and run and there we have our black color so black is pi games uh, default but you can still use black for some parts of your game or some scenes of your game like my previous pong game that i showed you i used black and nothing happened no harm done so there was green wasn't there oh yes there was green so i'll just save and run quite fast and there we have a bright green so if you wanted a darker shade of green you'll just reduce the value from 255 to maybe something like uh, say 155 and you get a darker shade of green 255 is the maximum and this is the brightest green you'll get in Pi game maybe you can get others uh, others if you maybe take some research in the net and do something about RGB colors but with the few basic knowledge that I gave you of RGB colors and the few colors that I defined for you in that previous picture, I think everything is quite good. Those are the colors that we use for most games. So we'll try our yellow. Control S to save and F5 to run. We wait for it. And we have a magical yellow background. Yellow is a bright color. I think it's the brightest. I don't know much about the spectrum, but I think it is. So we have our, our yellow color. Let's check what other colors we define. Oh, there's white. And I also love gray, so let me just define gray. So it was 128, 128, 128. And this tutorial serves you. Uh, you can now get the understanding of all the colors that we used. And I'll just show you the gray. Then white. You can experiment with more and more colors. You can get a taste of the colors that you love maybe. And there I have my gray window. As you can see gray is a silent color. Just a calm color. I don't love black. Again, white is too bright for me. So I love gray. And finally, the, <coughs> the white color. That is the final color in this tutorial. You can add more and more colors. You have things like purple, you have things like maybe uh, sky blue, all those kinds of crazy stuff out there. I know you can get them. And it loads fast then, as you can see. It starts with the black screen, then the white one. My computer is rather slow, so that's why it has to update these frames uh, slowly. But as for now, I hope you now get a basic understanding of colors, you've seen how all these colors work, and stay tuned as always, thanks for watching.